everybody. This is Kelly. I'm one of the analysts here at Main Street ROI. We really enjoy helping small businesses with their digital marketing. Uh, one of the ways that we do that is through our marketing tip videos. And today's marketing tip is about how to install Google Tag Manager three different ways uh, if you're using WordPress. Um, so there's a lot of free tools available that you can use um, as far as plugins go on WordPress. Um, Honestly, it depends on the functionality of each of those plugins based on your, your current setup. So if it's just basic implement, implementation, then this video is going to be perfect for you. Um, we're not going into too many advanced settings, right, you know, on this on this particular video today. So for the first plugin option, um, now I'm, I'm going to show you on our main website that we uh, that we work with, but on our own website, I mean, uh, but for the the plugins here, um, there's several ways you could install it. You can actually download um, the plugin directly from the developer of the plugin and upload a zip file. Uh, if you if you want to do that, you can go to plugins, go to add new, uh, and then there's a little link here that you can choose to upload your plugin. If you were to go that route, then you would basically visit the page for that particular plugin. Um, for today's video, we're going to be going over Google Tag Manager for WordPress uh, by Thomas, I think it's Geiger, Geiger, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but we're also going to be reviewing the Head, Footer, and Post Injections plugin by uh, Stefano Lisa, which this was at Satolo.net. Um, that's where the actual parent page is for this plugin. So Satolo.net. Um, you can get their zip file by going to the download button here. And then the last plugin we'll be reviewing today is the header footer code manager by 99robots. Um, again, you can download the zip file directly from the plugin landing page here on uh, the wordpress.org site, or you can go back to your main WordPress dashboard and you can just search for that particular plugin. Um, in this case, I have already installed the, the plugins we'll be reviewing today, but just for demonstration purposes, you can go in here and type in GTM for WordPress as far as those that uh, abbreviation and you'll find it right here, the GTM for WordPress by Thomas uh, Geiger, I believe is how it's pronounced. Now it, it does say it's active here. So if you've already installed it, there's not gonna be a button for install now, but if you have not installed it, then you can see that little button show up here um, to install it through this dashboard. Um, so that's another option for you. Um, so with all, without all, with all ado here, let me go and open up our first plugin. Um, so you can actually visit the list of plugins that are installed by going to installed plugins. And you can edit the settings for that particular plugin directly through this dashboard. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see the Google Tag Manager for WordPress. Oh, and they're conveniently right next to each other here in this list. So we have the head, footer, and post injections plugin and the header, footer, code manager all uh, within, this, within this dashboard. So the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin has a settings button and so does the header, footer, code manager. So you can click on those settings buttons to get into those um, to those dashboards for those plugins. Now with the head, footer, and post injections plugin, uh, I believe you, you go down to settings and let me move my webcam around here so I can actually see. Um, so you can go to settings here and then if you go up to, let's see, we have a Google Tag Manager uh, option showing right here, which that one is for the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin. And then we have head and footer, and that is the plugin that does not have the option for the settings <clears throat> directly from that plugins dashboard. So we can click on that and we'll start there. Um, so this, this plugin we are currently using on the site. 
Um, it has the Google Tag Manager snippet in the header section here. You can see this tab. It has head, head and footer. And then you also have the options of injecting code into other areas of the site. Um, for the purpose of this video today, we're only focusing on Google Tag Manager snippets. Uh, <clears throat> so you can see we have the header portion of that up here installed in Google Tag Manager, or for Google Tag Manager, excuse me. We have the after the body tag installed already here. And then that's not, uh, that's not Google Tag Manager. So you can find this code by going into your Google Tag Manager container. So you would log in to tagmanager.google.com and visit the main container for your website here. This is assuming that you've already created one. Uh, we can do the creation and all of that in a separate video. Um, so if you go down to install Google Tag Manager, you can get there by clicking on the admin tab. Uh, I believe when you, log, when you first log in, it's gonna send you directly to your workspace. So in order to get to where you install the snippet of code, you go over to admin and then it has install Google Tag Manager right here. So you'll click on that. And this is where you will find your snippet of code. Um, they have pretty straightforward instructions here. So you can copy this snippet of code there, and then you would go back to your plugin and you would paste it here. I'm not going to do that since it's already there. And then you would do the same for the body tag. So you would copy this code there and then go to the after the body tag area of this code and paste it. Now <clears throat> you have a save button down here. So go ahead and select that once you have entered in your snippet of code there and you should be all set. Uh, that one's super straightforward and, and most of these plugins are. So one thing to be weary of though is to only have this code installed in one plugin or one method on your site. Uh, if you have duplicate Google Tag Manager code snippets, then it's not going to function normally. Uh, and you may, you may actually see some inflated conversion numbers rolling in from that if you do have it on uh, multiple different plugins and settings uh, installed within the site. So just be, be careful of that. Um, so, that is it on the head and footer code injections plugin. Again, uh, this is the one that you will find in the settings menu and you can go to the head and footer option here. Um, so that's good to go. Um, now the next one that we'll cover is the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin. Um, it's also found within the settings menu, or you can actually pull up those settings directly from the pl installed plugins list. Uh, just scroll down to the Google Tag Manager for WordPress option and click on settings directly through there like I showed you just a second ago. Um, so this one is also very straightforward. Um, there are additional settings that you can that you can provision um, in this dashboard. For the purpose of the video today, we're just strictly focused on getting the Google Tag Manager snippet installed. So on this plugin, um, you actually have a Google Tag Manager ID section here, and you would paste what your Google Tag Manager ID is. And you can find that by going back to your Google Tag Manager account. And if you are signed into the container for your Google Tag Manager, um, code, then you can actually see the container ID right here. And so you would just copy that and go back here and it will tell you if the formatting is incorrect. <laughs> so that was a good demo there. Uh, but you paste that into the Google Tag Manager ID field. Here is where you can select for the container to be on or off. Um, so when you turn it on, it's going to add the head and body, the header and the and the body snippet of code to your site on uh, on the back end. So 
it takes care of it for you. And, you know, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to turn it off because we already have this snippet of code installed via another method. So um, we're not too concerned with putting this one on. And uh, if you if you're only using this method, then you would, of course, leave that to to select uh, or selected to uh, Leave on selected. <laughs> Sorry, can't talk today. Um, so the container code compatibility mode, that one that one is a little bit more advanced. I, I don't think this is necessary in most cases. Uh, of course, you would need to investigate this a little bit further depending on your current setup. So we're not going to cover that today. Uh, but yes, if you get this pasted in there and you select that to on, go ahead and select save changes and you should be good to go. Now I am going to cover the third and final plugin option uh, that we're that we're reviewing today, which is the header footer code manager plugin. And you can find that one by going down into your menu options here. It's a little bit further down the page generally. Um, so on this left-hand side menu, you can see HFCM for the header footer code manager. Let me move my webcam out of the way again. And then you can actually add new directly from the sidebar menu, but for the purpose of the video, we'll just go ahead and select the HFCM plugin and pull up the full dashboard here. Move my camera again. So right now, as you can see, we do actively use this plugin as well. Um, currently, we only have a Facebook pixel code installed with this plugin. And if you want to add a Google Tag Manager code snippet here, then you can go up to uh, add new snippet at the very top of this plugin dashboard. Or as I showed you just a moment ago, you can actually select add new snippet directly from your side menu. Uh, so we'll go up here and we'll select add new snippet. And then for your snippet name, this is of course up to you. Um, I always like to keep my naming conventions simple though, so that you know exactly what's in there. So you can put Google Tag Manager header, and then this is just going to be a demo. We're not going to actually go live with this snippet of code. Um, but it's technically JavaScript. You can actually select HTML or JavaScript here. It's still going to function similarly. Um, I, don't, I don't believe it affects it in any way. And then we are going to want this site-wide. We're not excluding any pages. This one's going to be for the header. We're going to show it on all devices. And for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to inactive. Uh, if you were to be installing this for the first time and it's the only way you're installing the code, then you would leave that as active. But we'll, we'll select inactive for now. Um, so yep, yeah, just go back to your Google Tag Manager and then click on install Google Tag Manager. And it's the same method as before. You would paste your header code that's required into this field here and go down to click on save. <clears throat> and then you'll find it in, in your list here when you go back. Um, so it'll be there. Now we'll also click on the new snippet option again, because we need to add the additional required snippet from, uh, from Google. We'll copy this one that goes after the body tag. Um, now I'm sure you noticed this actually does not give us um, the option to put it after a closing body tag. However, we have noticed in the past, not just with um, our website, but also across other clients, uh, WordPress sites, that if we select footer, that the Google Tag Manager snippet still performs the same. Um, so we'll go to Google Tag Manager, and then we'll just say body, and then this is our demo. And we can select JavaScript here. We're not excluding any pages. We're going to put that in the footer. And I believe I already copied that snippet and we go to paste it here. And for just remember, if you, if you need this code on your website and this is the only one, keep it as active. We're going to go inactive for this video, though. 
um, and then click on save. <clears throat> and to see the installed um, codes that you have with this plugin, you can just press uh, the back button after you've installed one, but we'll just click on the HFCM uh, abbreviation for it down there. And then you'll find the Google Tag Manager header and Google Tag Manager body uh, snippets that we installed here. Now you also have the option of, of course, you can select active whenever you're, when you're first installing it, but you do have the option of turning this on or off uh, directly from the plugin dashboard as well. Um, so but we'll just leave those off for now. And then one, one way that we will check to make sure those snippets are installed correctly is to go uh, through the Google Tag Assistant browser extension. And it's pretty simple, straightforward to download that. Um, you can just do a search when you're installing any browser extensions for Google Tag Assistant. And it will show you, <clears throat> it will show you what is installed on the site as far as the, the various uh, code snippets that you have. Um, and we won't, we won't really go over that in this video, but I, I do hope you found this helpful. Those three plugins are free tools that uh, you, you don't have to pay out of pocket for. Um, you can get those installed on your WordPress website today and start tracking with Google Tag Manager instantaneously. So, uh, you know, of course, once you get all your conversions set up in Google Tag Manager, which is for another video. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I do hope you found this helpful. Uh, we do enjoy helping all of the small businesses with their digital marketing efforts, as I mentioned before. Uh, we also enjoy partnering with other agencies to help with their clients. So um, if you did find it useful, there's a free checklist that you can download here at the end of the video um, in the description below. And until next time, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>